In this fascinating video, we explore the intricacies of the advanced French defense strategy. Leveraging pinning scenarios, we strategically lay traps, gaining pawn advantages through adept bishop maneuvers. Transitioning to the Earth's knob gambit, audacious checks strategically unveil vulnerabilities, culminating in a rapid 10-move triumph via precise checkmate. The advanced variation of the French defense unfolds following the initial sequence of moves. At a certain point in the opening, white may opt to pin your knight. It's during this pivotal moment that we can set a cunning trap, a tactic that remains effective even if the pin is established later in the game. To execute this trap, we elegantly break free from the pin by moving our bishop. While this maneuver might appear unassuming, it conceals a clever intention, the opportunity to secure a pawn advantage. Consider a scenario where white proceeds with knight to f3. Now, we seize the chance to capture the pawn on e5, embarking on an advantageous journey. Upon evaluation, if white chooses to capture our knight, we respond by claiming their bishop. Conversely, if white decides to capture our bishop, our knight steps forward to take its place, all while maintaining a check. With this well-devised sequence, we cleverly exploit the pin to our advantage. By initiating these strategic maneuvers, we effectively launch into the advanced variation of the French defense, setting the stage for a dynamic and intriguing game. Following the customary opening moves, we shift our focus to the line that emerges after bishop to d7. It's a common progression that frequently sees white responding with bishop to d3, a move that serves as a catalyst for the trap we are about to set. Our strategic move here is seemingly unassuming rook to c8. This quiet yet purposeful move serves as the starting point for our trap. As the game unfolds, and white proceeds to castle kingside, we initiate the exchange of pawns on d4, introducing a dynamic shift to the position. Then, with a precise knight to b4 move, we apply pressure by targeting the white bishop. In response, white may consider relocating the bishop to e2, aiming to salvage its position. However, this response overlooks an additional threat we have in store. With knight to c2, we swiftly execute a tactical sequence, capturing the trapped rook on the subsequent move. This intricately crafted sequence allows us to gain a significant material advantage and capitalize on our opponent's position. If you're accustomed to playing e4, you'll likely encounter the French defense during your games. From this juncture, you can opt for the advanced variation by advancing your pawn to e5. This move forms the basis of the subsequent maneuvers, as black consistently exerts pressure on the d4 square, prompting white to adopt defensive measures. As the pieces maneuver, we unveil another trap, this time initiated by bishop to d3. This move initially appears to be a sacrifice, leaving our pawn on d4 seemingly hanging. However, this is where the charm lies. After the sequence unfolds with captures on d4, followed by knight takes and queen takes, the true nature of the trap reveals itself. A crucial moment unfolds as black commits a grave blunder. The opportunity for us to seize their queen emerges, highlighted by a crafty move, bishop to b5 check. This maneuver places black's king in check and demands immediate attention, setting the stage for us to capture the queen on the following move. The trajectory of the earth's knob gambit unfolds within this specific French defense line. Instead of the customary queen to b3 move, we introduce an audacious check. In response, black often counters by blocking with their bishop. Swiftly, we withdraw our queen, setting the gears in motion for a sequence of calculated maneuvers. As black captures the pawn, we deftly develop our bishop, exerting pressure on f7. With precision, we unveil the trap we have meticulously laid. Black's natural response is to safeguard the vulnerable f7 square, often achieved through queen to e7. However, our tactics remain undeterred. We capitalize on the situation by capturing on b7, placing the black rook under attack. Black endeavors to rescue the imperiled rook with bishop to c6. 
Here, we administer a check that compels the Black Queen to retreat, subsequently setting the stage for the decisive blow. With skillful precision, we capture on f7. Black, realizing the perilous position of their queen, seeks refuge for the monarch on e7. However, the final move of the masterful sequence unveils, a magnificent checkmate emerges with queen to e6, sealing our victory in a mere 10 moves against the French defense. Now, it's time for a puzzle. In the given position, it's white's turn, and you need to find the best move for white. Share your answers in the comments, and let's see how many of you can solve it correctly. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with future videos. Take a moment to check out the other videos appearing on your screen right now. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care and peace.